Hello, and welcome to another edition of Now You Know Sports. I'm Joe Bronzo. And I'm Lima Bobelis. And today we're talking about BC Sports and the NFL Draft. It's going to be a great show. And, you know, we haven't seen Joe in a while, so welcome back, Joe. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. So, what do you got for us on BC? BC. Well, first of all, let's give a big cheer out to Annie Hager. She got the NEISA, which is the New England Intercollegiate Sailing Association's Woman of the Year. Sailor of the Year, so congratulations. That's amazing. Yes, congratulations. And, you know, the spring season, spring sports, they're starting to wrap up. So track has their ECACs coming up. Then they have their New England. So, you know, be sure to cheer them on. They're going to do awesome. They've done really well so far, so we wish them luck, too. And then baseball, they've got a pretty big stretch at BC coming up. It's I'm pretty sure it starts the 4th all the way to the 13th, and they're going to be playing Harvard, Northeastern, uh, Georgia Tech, there, right? FSU, UConn, St. John. So, you know, they're going to finish out pretty strong, and they're going to be at BC, so there's no reason that everyone should not be there. So be sure to cheer on your baseball team. It will be exciting. Yes, it will. Well, I've, I'm still baffled by the draft. I mean... Aren't we all? <laughs> we had six defensive players go in the top ten. We had Indomitian Sue at, at the two spot, but we all knew that was going to happen. Oh, of course. <laughs> Gerald McCoy also a defensive tackle, went in the fourth spot. Eric Berry, a strong safety, went five. Joe Hayden, a cornerback, went seventh. Ronaldo McLean, linebacker, went eighth. And Tyson Alualu went tenth as a D-end. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy. That, that is really intense. I don't know if I've ever seen something like that before. Of course, Sam Bradford went first. Quarterbacks always go first. Yeah. But well, I mean, the Rams needed a quarterback. So, I mean, that was kind of a given. But, you know, I, w I actually want to talk a little bit about Gerald McCoy. I mean, I think he's going to be a great, you know, a great player for the Bucks. The Bucks kind of need, um, like, a Warren Sapp-like player. They haven't had one in a while, so I feel like he'll fill that spot really well. I mean, he's very athletic. He's got a lot of energy. You know, he's a quick guy. I think he's going to help out the Bucks a lot. So I think that was a great pick on that end. I agree. I, I, one thing I don't agree with, is Colt McCoy going 85th overall, 21st yeah. in the third round. I mean, he's my sleeper. I mean, if you look back, uh, Tom Brady went either in the second or third round. Look where he is now. Yeah, I think that's going to exactly. be, I think Colt McCoy's got it in him to be the next one, next Tom Brady. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, and what really baffles me is Jimmy Clausen going 48th or 16th in the second round. I mean, maybe it's just the BC Eagle inside of me, <laughs> but I didn't think he was anything too special, especially not better than Colt McCoy, no. winning his most, most quarterback in uh, NCAA football. No, I definitely agree. And, you know, on that same, you know, on the same lines, Tebow, I was, I was pretty shocked that he went so early. You know, everyone kind of hyped him up, but, like, honestly, not a big fan. Well, if you've watched any of my old episodes, you know I'm not a big fan of Tebow, yeah. so. Well, see, the way I look at it is, you know, Josh McDaniel is kind of like the Bill Belichick, like, you know, successor. He's going to try and do, like, the same stuff as him. I feel like he's going to not even put him at QB. I mean, he might, but I feel like he's going to put him linebacker or somewhere defense. I mean, Tebow's got the body. He's got the build. He's got the speed. But I don't think he's got, you know, he's not there for QB yet. I don't, I don't feel like he's mentally prepared. Well, it'll be interesting to see his new throwing yeah, style that's true. In, mean, in a game. or Hopefully they'll start, of course they'll cover it, mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully we yeah. can see what it looks like against NFL players. I, know, I think it'd be interesting. I mean, who knows? We'll see how that goes. So who else you got? I know we've got, well, we've got some BC guys. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, we've got Matt Tennant who went yes. 27th in, in the, the fifth, fifth round. round. He, uh, I think BC's been pretty pretty solid with its centers. Yeah, uh, I mean, sending for the to Saints, be. too. That's going to exactly. be a great team to be a part of. Yeah, hopefully he can uh, join Jolan Dunbar up there and get another ring. Yeah, yeah. that would we'll be see. really nice. Uh, but as far as some, some other guys, uh, Rich Cannell signed with the Chiefs as a free agent, so he'll go to their camp. Hopefully he'll be able to make the team. For sure. He's got some great hands, that kid. I know, you know? yeah. And here's my big surprise is uh, McLaughlin. Yeah. He's not been drafted or signed free agent yet. So, I mean, hopefully he'll be able to get in there. I know he worked a l really hard in the summer. He, uh, or not in the summer, in the off season mm -hmm. this winter. He, he worked on his long snap, linebacker ability, special teams. Um, I know that he did have the injury to his mm -hmm. Achilles. 
but I mean, I think he showed him that he's back this no, past I season. No, I definitely agree. And uh, I heard he had a pretty good co a pretty good uh, combine. So hopefully he'll be able to make us make a you know make a indent on some team out there. I feel like he would. I mean, I was looking around and he didn't get that great of a grade, which I was really surprised about. But you know, reading the comments, a lot of people, you know, they had, you know, they had good things to say. So I mean, I feel like he'll be somewhere soon for sure. I have to agree. Yeah. So uh, I think that's all we've got for this week's uh, edition. Mm -hmm. I'm Joe. And I'm Lima. And remember, we are BC.